Hi, this is J.D. Schofield with Critical Mass, talking here with uh, Jay. Got Jeff and Mike, better known as Uncle Tupelo. Gonna get to know them a little bit better. I guess the first thing to ask is, uh, what's the story behind the name, Uncle Tupelo? The story? Yeah. <laughs> oh, two words. <laughs> English language. Sound good together. Mm. No, Nobody no one else using, no one using, using them at the time. Never again will so called friend leave you sick and dry. This friend has a name, knows gutter and shame. So called friend of you and I. Songwriting, working on putting together your repertoire of music. How does that go? Does someone come up with an idea? Music? Someone comes up with the lyrics? How does it work with you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Happens about every yeah. way that there is to write songs. There's a few that I guess we write individually and then, but most of them are pretty much a group effort. But it's just a basic idea and then it's thrown up to whole The band. arrangement's usually a group effort, no matter what. Yeah. yeah. It's my only play in the scene. They bring it to me as music, and and I play the drums to it. <laughs> as well a drummer should. You know? <laughs> Do you worry about having to have an image? Mm, not really. I mean, I guess if we didn't feel like we were doing, I don't know, something we were all secure in musically, we'd feel like we needed an image more, but it's just pretty much ourselves at this point. Just more the music as an image than the way we dress or something. Opening up for Major bands, I think major bands like Fetch and Bones, Firehose, who else? Warren Zevon, you've opened up for Warren stuff Zivon like that. He treat. loved us. He was a treat. Mm -hmm. I mean, Texas Instruments, you've opened for them. Even yeah, we played with town. the Texas Instruments. Um, how's that being an opening? You know, quote the warm-up band. That's for the an best act. way to do things for us. Usually, yeah. So we get get in with a band that might have a similar following and get to play for an audience that would have, wouldn't have otherwise heard of us. So and it's a lot easier to go back to that town once you've played with a band that's popular. It's just because there'll be a few more people that at least have heard of you. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Do you think your following is uh, necessarily musicians, friends? Around St. Louis, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's definitely a musicians kind of support each other, it seems like. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what is the original music scene like in St. Louis now? Well, it seems to be uh, well, growing. But well, <laughs> tell them, Mike. Uh. <laughs> this guy always has the great answers. <laughs> they always shuffle it over to him. Tell us, Mike. Oh, uh, it's, it's everywhere. I'm not really equipped to say. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, you know, I, I wish no comment at this time. Are you going to be working on an album, getting an album out soon? Yeah, we're trying to get an album out by uh, late spring. We're working on it. going to do the recording in January, hopefully, and get it out by spring. <laughs>